All right, so you walk in here, you get to start the 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 cabaret club thing, of which I still don't know the difference between a cabaret and a cabaret club. I was able to save, back out, do the other thing, the takoyaki thing, but uh, I literally can't fucking leave. Can't can't fucking leave until I do the tutorial. You son of a oh. bitch. Ah, Majima-san. I was thinking this might be a good time to run you through the basics of cabaret club management. Do you have a moment? Motherfucker, I can't leave. No, no, I don't have a moment. Let me, let me the fuck out, asshole. <laughs> ah. Yeah, lay it on me. Right. Then, let's get to it. As cabaret clubs are, you need to operate your club, earn money, grow your clientele, and ultimately crush your competition. Your final goal, to establish Sunshine as the undisputed top club in Sotenbori. Which is funny, because that means he's running two clubs. Doesn't own either of them, technically, I think. But uh, he's running both of them. You can open the club, as well as manage the girls who will form the active lineup by talking to Yoda inside Sunshine. And I'm just going to call him Yoda. I don't know if it's supposed to be Yuda or something. Whatever. He don't look like Yoda. He's got a hair, fucking hair job like Kuze, except less shiny. Uh, as Sunshine's popularity increases in the clash with your rivals, companies, clubs, he, he <clears throat> clash with your rivals, clubs, heat up, heats up. The drama will unfold. Drive those rivals out of business, and you'll unlock some new combat techniques for Majima. Oh, right, the fucking. Uh, well. No, I guess he's got the locks on his styles, too. Hmm. Uh, Majima can learn to become even stronger, so bring the fight to them as aggressively as you can. But, you know, for fuck's sake, by driving up uh, Sunshine's popularity up, you can transform it into a source of tremendous profit, and anything you earn with the club is yours to spend however you wish. Grow the club, smash competition, and become the true cabaret club czar, and get filthy rich in the process. That, that was the fucking basics? Are you fucking shitting me? That was the basics, buddy? There was not a dick hair of actual information in that. You lying fuck. Next step is, let's have you o actually open up the place and do a round of prep. This is the sort of thing where the quickest way to learn is to actually just do it. Learn by doing! A uh, joke that the people who actually get will probably cringe at at this point. Uh, let's give it a try. I'll chime in with advice as we go. Ah. Alright. Wow. What fucking cocksucker is wub wubbing past my fucking house? I felt that. Alright, let's do this thing. Now, see, that's what I was expecting. Prepare to open. Okay. Change your appearance. The fuck you say? Open for business. Open the club for business and rake and start raking in the dough. Rival battles. Okay. Each set of each hostess has a different set of statistics. Ability, various stats. Oh. Okay. <laughs> HP. Wow. Love? The fuck you say? Looks. Okay. Physical appearance goes a long way in this line of work. And hilariously, the fucking X and triangle and circle are relatively the PlayStation colors. That's sure. Uh, the better the values, the easier it is for her hostess to ensure her guests have a good time. Also, the silence is kind of deafening. There is dick hair of input from the capture. It's not you, it's the game. Uh, it's not me either. Uh, better values, blah, blah, blah. Ability stats, really? Ability stats rise as she levels? 
Like in any job, she ends experience by working shifts and undertaking trading sessions. How fucking involved is this shit? Holy fuck. Level 29. Don't tell me they fucking have to level them to 100 each. Only platinum hostesses can undergo special training. Okay. Uh, Majima will sit down with a girl with a, for practice conversation or take her out on a mock date. If training goes well, the hostess can earn lots of experience points. Uh, looks good on her resume, too. You can only train one girl at a time. What? Train one girl one time? Before opening... Oh. I guess that's like leveling the businesses. Uh, but you're a well-trained staff who will give your club an edge over the rivals. Hone their skills to crush competition flat. Mm, sure. Okay, you can freely change up the looks of your platinum staff by choosing different outfits or applying new makeup. New hairstyles, dresses, other items need to be purchased for the first time. Afterwards, changing between them is free of charge, but only with the girl for whom you bought the item. Change a hostess's looks stats by modifying her appearance. How fucking colossally involved is this shit? Holy fuck. Did I already ask that? I probably did, because what the fuck. Choosing a hostess for a shift. Use duty roster to assign hostesses to work the next shift. Pay close attention to each hostess's condition, as this will affect their performance. If hostess is tired, the smart move is often to give her some time off work to rest and recover. Hostesses with more skills and or higher levels will cost greater wages, which can affect your overall profits while operating the club. Okay. Oh, fuck it. Alright, that's the last one. Uh, once you've finished any preparations, you can open the club for business. First, choose which areas customers you want to target. The more rival clubs you defeat, the more areas will become available. As you gain more fans in an area, the more customers will show up and more of them will be big spenders. After each shift, you will gain more fans in the targeted area according to customer satisfaction. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. Zuzo. Okay, let's do a little conversational training. Hi. Yes, thank you for your help with this. Mm -hmm. What's up, Yuki John? You nervous or something? No, I wouldn't call it nerves. It's more like battle butterflies. Mm -hmm. That's so. Well, I guess that's encouraging enough. All right, ready to pretend I'm a customer? Hi. I mean, you were a minute ago. Hello, customer. I'm Yuki. I look forward to a fun conversation with you. Uh, you sure you got this? Okay, well, let's start with an easy topic. Tell me about the hobby, some hobbies of yours. Okay. Yep, come to think, why the hell is she voice acted here and not him? Now, come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. So let's use this little practice to get better acquainted, huh? Hey, hey, if you want to be a hostess, that kind of talk ain't going to cut it. You just flatline the whole conversation. A diary, huh? That's a great start, actually. What do you write about in it? Uh, uh, wait, wait, back up a bit. Bonsai? I didn't even need to check that one. 
You wouldn't think that tending a bonsai would count as a hobby? I bet your older clientele would love hearing you uh, babble on about that. He's missing an eye and his hair is slicked back to the point where his fucking ponytail could stab somebody. Could take out his other fucking eye. What do you mean a lot sharper than he looks? You saying I look dumb, Yuki-chan? <laughs> anyway, why don't you... Why don't you mention your bonsai hobby in the first place? I mean, fair, I guess. Hmm. Mm, well, uh, I see. Well, I think it's pretty amazing. Mm, sure. Uh. Um. <sighs> You really clam up when the guests stop talking, don't you? So, so nan des yo ne. Nanka, atashi nanka ga kyu ni hanashi kaketara, gyaku ni shitsure na ki ga shite. Hmm. Yeah. Impolite. That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers are here specifically to talk to girls, Yuki-chan. You've got to lead them in with some topics. De, demo, atashi, o kyak san to don na koto hanashi tara ii ka wakara nakute. Uh, well, now, now I need shit. Um, I I guess I'll try to compliment them. If you're drawing a blank on something to talk about, try compliment. Ain't a man in the world who would turn out in a compliment. Mm, fair. Suit, shoes, tie. Yeah, his face, his voice, maybe his personality. Uh, if he looks even a little well off, try saying something nice about his clothes, his shoes, or hell, even his watch. Well, fuck you too, lady. Wait, is that your idea of a compliment? <laughs> no. oh, fuck, lady. Oh boy. The road to success is gonna be long and bumpy for you, Yuki chan. Hmm. Let's see, what else is a good conversation starter? Do you have some kind of talent, maybe? Uh no, on second thought scratch that. Uh. Hmm? Oh, no kidding? Alright, what is it? That's not... I... I feel the need to go dig for the answer. There we go. Hmm. Found it. Hey, you see? Everybody's got a hidden talent. That'll make you perfect for older clientele. Which... I... No? Weird? Why? <laughs> every grandkid is every grandparent's favorite. What are you, what are you smoking? Oi, oi. Hey, now, why don't you tell me sooner? We can't be letting a talent like that go to waste. That is decided. Yugi-chan, you're going to be our older customer specialist. Every grandpa who walks in here is going to get assigned to you. Alright, let's change gears. Why don't you tell me about uh, a weakness you've got instead? Anything come to mind? Why does that not surprise me? 
Dang. Huh, I'm just messing with you. Well, if you got a lot, how about you pick one for me? Anything's fine. So, and somehow that doesn't surprise me. Eh, if you're no good at talking to men, why the hell do you work in a place like this? Oh, eh, that's fair. Yo, you do realize I'm a man too, right? Yikes. <laughs> huh, and why is that? Because I'm such a supportive and considerate guy? Hey, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> wow. What a doofy bitch. Alright, I think it's a that's a good stop in place. Thank you for the lesson. Sure thing. Good job. So let's see. <laughs> it was a perfect lesson. Which means what exactly? I was having such a good time, I practically forgot we were training you. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. Keep it up and you'll have it, these customers melting like chocolate. Wow. Melting like chocolate on a dashboard. Well, that's why you put the shit under the seat. Or, you know, in front of the AC or something. You really think so? Uh, I do feel more confident now. I'll do my best to work harder. Sure. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Well, so what about that? <laughs> it's fucking Sailor Moon. Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Moon, the fuck? Um. Uh-huh. Top Cabaret Club in Sotenbori, its hostesses and servers are second to none. So I need to start in the weak area. Sure. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh huh. Wow. Mediocre everything. That is four triangles. You can't see it. It's four triangles. That's uh O X X O. And she's a platinum. X O O triangle. No square, huh? Cost 30,000. 15, 15. Well, so how do I level up these fuckers? Can't train them. Make over. Only the platinums? Okay. Hmm. I guess the color doesn't really matter. Go with the green, why not? Sure. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Wow. Beauty goes down, funny goes up. That does nothing. Good day, sir. There's no 
actually good options. Uh, I guess I'll leave it alone then. Uh, none of those do... Oh. Shit. That does nothing, good day, sir. Okay. Uh, sure. I was not expecting this to turn into a fucking dress-up doll game. Flash is dead. What are we doing? I... I don't... I don't know what I'm doing here. Available. The fuck does available mean? Sure. Sure, whatever. It's also really kind of loud. Aha! Oh, holy shit. 1.5 million. I'm gonna skip that for now. Those don't do anything for... None of them are objectively good. There's always a trade-off with some of them. That one's just nothing but bad. <laughs> cool ring. Sure. A refined, sophisticated ring showcasing a shining jewel. A fucking fake sapphire bigger than her fucking skull. Sure. Definitely. Man, why are none of these any good? Says, lifts the spirit of the wearer. Okay. Well, thank fuck the sitting singing is over. Uh. Yes. I can't affect any of them. Well, I've seen that gif once or twice. The club operation screen. More fucking tutorials. Your objective is to make as much money as possible before the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat, assign him a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability. Choose a girl that matches their type, and they will happily spend a fortune in your club. Serving customers gradually tires a hostess out, lowering her hospitality. HP as hospitality points. Sure. Without HP, she will be unable to provide high quality service, so let her rest until her HP recovers. Sure. Very, very funny. Very, very cute. Okay. Time remaining. Uh, money gauge in the bottom right corner shows how much your cash how much cash your guests have spent in the club at that time. Receiving orders from customers also fills up the money gauge. Press R1. Press R1 when it's full to cut loose and trigger party time. Party time will put customers in a fevered state that loosens up their inhibitions and their purse strings. There are plenty of benefits to party time, like HP restoration for hostesses. Charge up the money gauge to make to even higher levels to make party time even more effective. It's a happy hour without the discounts. Sure. Uh, okay. Press triangle to approach a customer's table. If any trouble arises, it's time for a check or if a hostess calls for your help. 
will be shown several actions. Why is this so fucking loud? Uh, making the right decision can boost customer satisfaction or pacify any troublemakers. Checking in on tables is an opportunity to lend your staff a helping hand. Wait too long and you may lose your chance. So keep an eye open and hurry over when you spot a signal. If the guest is happy with the hostess when it comes when it's time for the check, you can try suggesting an extension. The customer will stay longer and go into a fever state spending spending money like there's no tomorrow. Getting mega rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep your girls milking the golden cash cow. As your club makes a name for itself, some customers will come in requesting a specific platinum hostess. Shift the girls around to fulfill these requests as they arrive. Everyone's got a favorite. Two results screens appear at the closing up. The first displays your profits, and the second shows your staff's improvement for the day. Hostesses can earn experience points based on their sales numbers. To level up a hostess more quickly, assign her to guests more often. I have a sneaking suspicion that I am not gonna fucking finish any of this before the end of the game. Earning more fans. Your club will earn more fans depending on its performance. To increase your popularity in certain area, make sure to target it when opening for business to s and send your customers home happy. As your popularity increases, so will the quality of your customer base and with it your profits. The progress, the five stars storyline, which is five billionaires, five stars, somebody fire the writer. You will need to reach a particular number of fans in each area. Uh, oh. Okay? Uh, hello? Hello? What? What? Okay. Okay, so... So what about that? Oh! Huh. Shit. Okay. Alright, I kind of understand a little bit of what the fuck is going on here. Ish. He's gonna run out. Uh, hello, hello, hello. What? 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 What, what the fuck? <laughs> Zoom. Ladies glass. Okay. Uh Okay. Uh now he hates her guts. Oh uh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Goenchouはいかがでしょうか? I have to hit triangle to actually look at them. Uh, well. He's running out anyway. Uh. I don't. I don't know what I did. Okay. This is very, very fucking weird. Uh. Ice refill. Okay. Are you time? Uh, sure. Let's go, 
I guess I should have waited. Our HP is going down. Skill. Uh. I remember the hand gesture. I guess that's. Uh, gracious send off. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Sure. Skill. What the fuck is skill? What does skill mean? He's happy. I'm sure. Well, that's not great. Unless he likes this chick. No. No, he doesn't. Well, that's not great. Well, strategic talk. We can talk. Oh, oh. As to which stat they're relying on. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. The fuck you say? Uh, sure. Why was my plus in red? That seemed like a bad thing. Yeah, not too shabby. Still, we're short on guests and gals. There's no way around that. Out Is there no way around that outside of uh, the daily grind? Yeah, if we wanted to hire new girls, I suppose scouting them around town is the quickest way. You can add new girls to the club roster by scouting talent around Sotenbori, or trading in CP from the completion list at the temple, which I'm definitely, definitely going to have to go do, because fuck. It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty roster, so try to fill it out as soon as possible. And word of mouth from everyday businesses is one way to bring in new customers. But I hear signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. Some of Sotenbori's shops will sign partnership deals with you for a price. Partner businesses will send their clients to our your way, growing Sunshine's fan base in a hurry. More fans means more customers, which in turn means more profits. So sign deals with any hot spots you find. <clears throat> Makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops, got it. Looks like I'm going to be busy outside the club, too. Hi. Absolutely. This whole city's our battleground. The fucking four-block area and two bridges? Sure. There's a lot to do, but good luck, sir. I'll take my best crack at it anyway. This place really needs more girls. Hardly any point to open the doors as it stands now. Hmm. Ah, there's girls over at the Grand I can get... I got from Odyssey in that trade. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, as long as we got Nozomi recovered at the Grand. Wait a fucking minute. I thought Nozomi was the girl who works at Komion, who I've barely talked to. Hmm. Should be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put in that call now. Okay. <laughs> Kilala. Shout out to Inuyasha. I'm amazed, if not surprised. I'm amazed, if not surprised, Majima-san. It's hard to believe that that was your first time. Keep that up, and we might just really manage to beat those bully ba bullies back. And which bullies might those be, exactly? Boy. I don't know, the three fat asses who just walked in? I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, ready to sell this hobble to me yet? I told you before, the answer is no. <sighs> I see. 
And I was hoping to do this amicably. Sure am. Oi! Alright, you lot. And... What are fucking Tweedledee and Tweedledum gonna do? Teach this stubborn fool the reality of his situation. Oi. So you resort to violence in the end. You're a coward, you know. <laughs> Sticks and stones. We'll see which comes first. You give me what I want or you die. Either way, I can't wait. Do it. I mean, why'd you even bother saying anything? Just start throwing shoes. Now, what are you supposed to be? Name is Majima. Yoda Hans asked me to take over operations here. And as long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. <laughs> New manager. Huh, I see. I'll grant you, it's a wiser choice than letting a dimwit like Yoda keep running this dung hill into the ground. Sure. And you seem like you know your way around a fight. And you're, uh, so you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. I'm impressed, truly. What do you want us to do? Take this guy out too? Yeah. No, I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them anytime. I mean, all you gotta do is sit on us, really. Uh, I watched just how far you managed to crawl after making enemies. I, I look forward to being entertained as I watch just how far you managed to crawl after making enemies with the five stars. Sure. You were lucky today, Yoda-san. And you, Majima-san? Well, I don't know what you try your best. If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you are. Uh. <laughs> Bring it, Porky. I enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards. I enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on top of you. I hope your ass is ready to get buried. Well, it's ready to get tossed on, I suppose. Hmm. We'll see how long that big toss la big talk lasts. I swear I can fucking read. I advise you not to take the five stars lightly. I guess all my reading ability went out the fucking window with the tutorial. Thank you, Majima-san. Don't worry about it. Real battle's just starting. We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we want to take them on. Yeah. We will. I'll give it all I've got, Majima-san. Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. Even at like 4 a.m.? I don't know. <laughs> got my hands full with my own place too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute though. So that's one of Sotenbori's five stars. This might be tougher than I thought. Host, host, host. Sure. Heh, Goro Majima. Things are about to get interesting. Okay. <laughs> Did he just pop into existence? I'm starting to get why Yamagata Han told me to check this out. To check out Kaibure Clubs. But that ain't up more time than I planned. I should uh, get going back to the Grand. Sure. But, uh. The CP Shrunt. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no. This bitch is a host. Hostess, Ooh. whatever. Oh, you're the fellow with the eye patch. You don't fucking say, you. Bizarre old bag. It's been a while. Oh crap, it's the Obatarian. Huh? What do you mean, oh crap? Is that what you say when you have a reunion with a beautiful maiden? Try again. Give me a line like, oh, be still my beating heart. It, yeah, sure, when I have a fucking heart attack dealing with your bullshit. Oh, be still my beating heart, it's you. Mm -hmm. That's better. Now, what's this I hear about you running a cabaret club? Is that true? It is, but where'd you hear that? <laughs> Don't mock the housewives' rumor mill network. If I set my mind to it, I could find out the number of moles you got on your body. Yikes. <sighs> oh, come on. Why you gotta be so graphic? <laughs> wow. So, listen. Can I come work at your cabaret club? <laughs> do you even know what a cabaret club is? The heck's an old lady like you gonna do at a cabaret club? Mm. Come on, do me a solid here. The supermarket I was doing part-time work for went under, so things are tight. Mm, yikes. Besides, don't underestimate the power of an old lady. I'm an expert at making a man feel good about himself. 
Back in the day, I had any man I wanted under my thumb. <sighs> Ugh, I really didn't, didn't need to know that. Look, I just don't think it's gonna work. Why don't you go looking for some other part-time supermarket gig, whatever? No, I'm done with that. I'm gonna give you a real nice... I'm gonna give you a real nice kiss again if you don't let me come work for you. Now wait just a damn minute. Let's calm down. No need to resort to violence. Choose. Hire me or kiss me. It's your call. Yikes. Alright, alright. You're hired. You're so hired. I don't care anymore. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, isn't life just... Life easier when you just get with the program? Thanks, though. I'm really looking forward to this. Yikes. <sighs> it's telling that I'd rather deal with an angry Yakuza than her. Old Kansai ladies don't screw around. Mm -hmm. You muttering about something? Want some candy? Or you want some big boy candy instead? Yikes. No, no, and no, bitch. What the hell's big boy candy anyway? Listen, lady, just do your best in there, right? <laughs> that was fucking gold. Uh, I'm gonna grab the CP before I forget. Forget. Or I'm gonna kick somebody's ass while they're asking for it before they despawn. I kinda, sorta, mostly figured out Breaker. Ish. A little bit. Wee bit. And no, I did not manage to kick yellow in the balls again. Blue got it several times. Iron gear. Give business. Uh, wow. Holy shit. Uh. Hello? Why? What the fuck? Gonna be like that, is it? Excuse me. Yeah? You're with Club Sunshine, right? I was fucking summoned like a demon. Can I come work for you? Chizu-chan, huh? Of course. We'd love to have you. And your fucked up bangs. Bronze, huh? Looks like you got a real winner. Gonna have to step my game up. Mmm, sure, buddy. It's gonna be like that. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. You're with Club Sunshine, right? Well, at least your bangs aren't a fucking mess. My name's Shiho. You guys could work at your club. Okay, Shiho chan, you seem like you'd be popular at our club. Sure, we'd love to have you while you're interrupting me while I'm apparently praying, I guess. Silver. Do it again! I'll stop at five, because what the fuck. Uh... Hi there. Yeah? Jeez, lady. Just look like you're walking up in a fucking jeans jacket and underwear, why don't you? You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name's Kyoko. You think I can work at your club? Okay, Kyoko-chan. You seem like you'd be popular at our club. Same old shit over and over. Cool. Sure. Why not? Excuse me? Yeah. Was that one piece in the back and two pieces in front, or am I confused? My name's Junko. Anybody played Danganronpa? There's a yikes waiting here. You're... No, I guess it is a regular outfit. 
for some reason I thought it was One Piece when I was, you know, when she was walking up. <laughs> Looks like we got a real winner. Gonna have to step my game up for the fourth time in a row. Uh, I was not trying to talk to Bob, but, oh, no, I checked them all out. All right, sure. But it's for you, and it's free, you know? Well, I'm fucking done, Bob. Thanks. One more time. And a makeover, why not? Oh, oh boy. And I can afford all of it. That That's nice. Wow. Junko? I... I mean, how... Ow. Oh, yeah, I guess Junko. Whatever. But I mean... Actually, didn't the English of Danganronpa say Junko? I... I think there was a... I think so. Yeah. Yeah, there was definitely a dub. Hell, I don't even know if the Japanese was available in that game. I'm not gonna check. I do have it. Other oh, console, though, and... Well, you know, whatever. Point being, this bitch walks up and, uh... Well, you were talking about... Fucking... Um... Um... Shower curtain, man. <laughs> this lady is a fucking... Kaleidoscopic nightmare of... What's that material? That fucking... Plastic bead shit? That's all strung together? Kina. Sure. Gold hosted. Sequin, yes. Fucking sequin shirt. Alright, let's see what that... Uh, who the hell are you? Huh? I was, wasn't it? Hey, you. I got a lot in a lot of trouble thanks to you. Who the fuck are, are you even? You shut up with Eren? Oh. Oh, this bitch. And thanks to you, I got dumped by Tomokun. Oh, you're the one who sent Eren Kun on all those, all those errands. I don't know why you're angry. It's all your fault. Huh? Shut up. Thanks to you, I'm, I'm all sure. Hey, hey, stop crying, will you? Why would you care so much about a low-life ex-boyfriend like him? Your personality ain't much to speak of. Uh, side quest. Aaron Kuhn, being uh, a professional run well, amateur runner, amateur athlete, who ran himself out of his fucking shoes. His shoes were fucking destroyed. You had to do this guy, like, five favors. And he was running favors for this bitch, who had a boyfriend while stringing him along. Old side story. It's, it's basically the same as when Kiryu picked up fucking 12 people on the street. Uh, maybe? Uh, you should be able to find a new guy uh, at least as good as your ex. Huh? Was that supposed to be some kind of pep talk? You're not exactly making me feel better. I ain't trying to make you feel better. I'm trying to make you shut up and go away, bitch. You're really pissing me off. Oh, that reminds me. I have some business with you. <laughs> business? <laughs> I hear you're running a cabaret club, right? Listen, you can hire me to make it up for me for screwing up my make it up to me for screwing up my life. And how about go fuck yourself? Make it up to you. You know, even I got my limits to my patience. I should have thrown your ass in the fucking river. I don't care about your stupid patience. Look, since I no longer have Erin Coon, I have to buy the stuff I want myself. Yeah, she was just abusing the fuck out of this guy. My savings got cleaned out, but like Discount vinegar? My savings got cleaned out like discount vinegar, and now I'm in a real bind because I'm short on money this month. Let me work at your club to make my rent. What the fuck does that mean? Cleaned, cleaned out like discount vinegar. I don't know if you could even make money at a club, but I'll teach you a valuable lesson in hard work at least. Alright, fine. I'll hire you. <laughs> Really? That's great. I'm Emmy, thanks. Emmy? 
With a face like that? Hmm, I'm not gonna remember your name. <laughs> oh no! Fucking Vajiva! Oh, now nah, I got it. Since you bossed Eren Kuhn around so much, your name at the club is now Erenda. Ow. Huh? Oh no. What do you mean, Erenda? That's super lame. <laughs> huh. It's a better name than you deserve, bitch. You got a problem with it? You can always go fuck yourself. Fine. I'll take your stupid name. But you just remember, Karma's gonna be a real bitch. Like you. Ah. Great, looking forward to meeting her. <laughs> you know what? Majima's alright. And this is the mother of uh, the girl standing outside the arcade pining over plushies. Oh. Ain't you the mother of that girl with all the dolls? <clears throat> what the fuck? Just to Majima's right, that is a tiny, tiny, itty bitty door. What the fuck is that? Thank you so much for helping my daughter and I. I came by because I wanted to say thank you again. Nah, no thanks needed. But let me ask, how's the little scamp doing? The kid wouldn't even fit in that door. <laughs> oh, she talks about you nonstop, actually. She'll often say, I wonder how daddy's doing today. Yeah. The kid started calling him daddy. Can't even make that up. <laughs> huh, is that so? I'm sure it's just a phase, but all the same. Glad to hear she's doing well. And how about that loan of yours? The terms okay? Mm. To be honest with you, the loan amount was so high I'm barely making a dent on the interest. Mm. That's rough. Yeah. Well, considering they were 100% extorting the unholy fuck out of you for that bullshit fucking interest. It was supposed to be a, a 1 million yen loan, and this cocksucker comes around and claims she's got 13, 13 million in interest on 1 million. So, I was regretting the fact that they had so little health that I couldn't kick their asses harder. Uh, but maybe there's a ray of light shining through the clouds. What do you say you come work for me? Huh? What? At your place. Uh. Yeah, it's a cabaret club called Club Sunshine. It is literally around the corner. I bet our pay beats any regular old 9 to 5. What do you think? Are you sure? A woman like me? No doubt. Pretty lady like you? You'll be able to pay down that loan with a little extra to cover some new dolls. Hi. Dee. Yes, oh my, thank you so much. Really, thank you. Let's make your professional name at the club Dolly. See what I did there? Now, are you ready to make some cash and dump that crappy loan? <laughs> Dee. And none of these people are platinum. None of the CP women, none of these. Can't train any of them. Aside from leveling them like fucking Pokemon. And I went the wrong direction. Spin Rooney! That Spin Rooney is fucking mean. <laughs> Like, alright, you're fucking choke slamming people face first into concrete. Okay, fine, whatever. But the simple fact that he's bitch slapping motherfuckers into the air with a kick while he's on the ground is fucking crazy talk. Uh, whoops. Alright, come here. Really? Alright, whatever. I swear. Ugh. 50,000? Yikes. Fuck me. Alright. Take two. See what happens. Uh, is that it? You the only one to talk to? Uh, apparently. Well, I don't have any other Platinums. Madra Saad, do you want to run the Cabaret Club? Mm, sure. Do let's. 
Yeah, don't fucking say. Wasn't fucking 12 of them, was it? Okay, moon area, sure. Oh, right. So that shit doesn't matter. Yikes. Ah. Wow. Sexy is triangle, somehow. Beauty and cute are X, that's zero. But funny, double circle. Sure. What, what do you say, Granny? Special training that is still just her. Sure, well, we'll figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do some more training. Uh, thank you for taking the time. <sighs> What's up, Yuki John? You nervous again? Not at all. It's Battle Butterflies again. Mm, sure. Okay, let's get started. I want to get better at talking to my customers. Aww. That's the spirit, Yuki-chan. Alright, I'm gonna be your customer and we're just gonna talk. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Which, completely, utterly unrelated side note, a book I was listening to, they pulled a fucking Spongebob theme reference and it was ridiculous because it was war-themed. The refrain instead of SpongeBob SquarePants was war crimes, war crimes. I'm not kidding. Hello, I'm Yuki. Thank you. Thank you, please, for coming in today. Yeah. It was fucking hilarious. I love that franchise. It's a whole multi series thing. Hello. There has not been a story yet, but there's been chaos. <sighs> and... Yikes grannies. Very, very yikes grannies. Yeah. Alright, let's get to know each other a little better, Yuki. Not that I care, but why don't you tell me about what kind of guy you like? なんて答えがいのない質問の仕方会話練習なんですからちょっとは真島さんも私が楽しく話せるように気を使ってくださっても the fucking dynamic between these two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. So, tell me about your type already. Well, that definitely suits this industry. Uh, a prince. Yasasukute, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can see that. If I were looking for a lady, I'd want a princess too. This bitch. I swear. Hey, if you're gonna hold on to your dreams, hold on to dreams or ideals. You better swing for the fences. そうですよね。私は高い理想を追いかけたいです。でもそんな人全然いなくて、やっぱりハードル高すぎるのかな。そういや。二十三です。Okay。Trying to pause the timer. I see. I see. Pretty much. Pretty fucking much. Well, what this is, is uh, the Cabaret Club. This is Majuba's macro game as opposed to real estate, where he's running a whole fucking second club. He is running two places. And this is training for platinum level host hostesses. They're the only ones you can train them, you know, this way. Otherwise, they level up like fucking Pokemon. Uh, anyway, I'm surprised you're such a dreamer, Yuki-chan. Of course you have. Ah, so you grew up surrounded by girls at your schools. I'm starting to see why it's tough being around men. 
あうすいませんもしかしてやっぱり私接客でみんなの足引っ張ってたりしますか I mean, a little bit but、uh, that's also why you're here what's all this then こののでですすし、聞いいておこうかななと。私が接客下手なせいでみんなの足を引っ張ってたら嫌だなって思ってるんです。あ、uh, あ、hmm. hmm. Good club needs a wide variety of girls, actually. え、mm. I mean, sure. It'd be nice to have someone who could actually talk to the customers. But some guys prefer girls who come off like they don't buy into the whole nightlife business. So. Huh. See, a girl like you adds appeal to a club as a whole. We can cater to all walks of life that way. <laughs> And she has a real fucking dim opinion of him.、Huh? What? What are you talking about? Bitch, what do you mean always? We've had two conversations. Relax. What kind of guy do you take me for? Hey, I know it's probably a ways off, but I wonder what you'll be like when you get yourself a boyfriend, Yuki chan. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's not that tall and his hair don't flow. So, probably not. Plus, she was making fun of him and his eye patch. Which, you know, kind of fucked up. Right. Cape, sword, and the whole nine yards. いざ自分が付き合うのを想像してみるとなんだかめんどくさそうですよねえアハソウ Even if it was your equestrian princeling? 白馬の王子様なんか彼氏にしたらきっとなおさらめんどくさいんじゃないですかね I mean, fair デートのたびにお化粧や服装に気を使わなきゃいけないですしそもそも相手とどんな話をすればいいのか見当つきませんしね。I mean, fair. Do a horseback date? Yeah.、Uh, sure. And there's apparently a right answer to all of these. Like, I guess if you fail, you don't have, you don't get all the answers correct. Uh, I don't know, you gotta do the same one over again? I guess? I don't know. If you liked them, you'd make an effort, though. Lady, I run a whole club that's ten times the size of this. Huh? Really? What's up with that? I run a whole fucking club. I run the number one regular cabaret in the entire fucking city, and you're surprised. Of course, I'm okay. I do say positive things every now and then, you know? Okay. Say what? Maybe, maybe she is. You know, you're an odd girl, Yuki chan. Well, in one breath you're saying you'd want to date a prince, and the next you're saying to be a pain in the ass. You're like a grumpy old man in the body of a romantic young lady. <laughs> no. Like the obitarian I just fucking hired? So, grumpy and middle aged is fine as long as you're a woman. Well, maybe this is a bad time to bring it up, but have you ever actually gone out with someone, Yuki chan? I got the feeling you've never dated. 
き合ったことくらいあ,ありますよ佐藤くんに鈴木くんそれに田中くんいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいそうですね粛々と頑張りますCustomers melting like chocolate on a dashboard. Exactly, exactly what you said last time. Couldn't come up with a couple extra lines. Also, his ponytail looks disheveled. I'm sure. Like fucking Pokemon. <laughs>